everybody, my name is Yulia Skatova and in this video I am going to show you how to make these. Now where I come from, they're called Sevniki, but that's of no relevance. Uh, a friend of mine has called them cottage cheese cookies on the frying pan. So yeah, that's a bit of a mouthful. Anyway, cottage cheese frying pan cookies, whatever. Uh, I really hope that you enjoy them and if you want to see how I make them, please stay with me and watch my video. Okay, so for this recipe, uh, we're going to need white cottage cheese. I really hope that you can find this kind where you're living. And so it should be fairly dry. Uh, then, also, um, I have, I'm using 200 grams of cottage cheese. Then, we also need one egg. We're going to need some sugar. We're going to need some flour. Uh, a bit of semolina. A bit of vanilla sugar. And some oil or butter for frying. And also, in terms, of, uh, uh, in terms of equipment, we're going to need a frying pan, a spatula, a fork, and a container to mix it all in. Okay, so let's start. Um, to begin with, I am going to take my cheese and I'm going to uh, mix it with a fork. Well, of course you can do it with a blender or with a mixer, but since we're doing it for one portion only to start with, I, I would suggest a fork. Okay, so I'm going to... Mince it because it was pressed. I'm going to decompress it in a way. Okay. Now I am going to add um, one of sugar. So this is one tablespoon of sugar. Uh, you can make them more sweet or you can make them less sweet. I prefer them this way. You can try and experiment for yourself. So I've added uh, one tablespoon of sugar and then I'm going to add just, I don't know, a bit of vanilla sugar. And I'm going to keep mixing. Okay, now that I've mixed that cottage cheese with the sugar, I'm going to add the egg. into sort of a uh, paste, I'm going to add some um, semolina. Again, I'm going for a tablespoon of uh, semolina. When you fry, you can see if you like more of it, you can for sure add more. But I like it this way. Okay, so I've added semolina and I'm mixing it again. Okay, then, so it's a 
with your hands. Wet. Form sort of a sausage. Oh, it's going to be soft, just you know, as best as you can. And roll it in the flour. And then cut it very thick pieces. Now you pick up one piece and flatten it out against the flour and just let it sit. And we just keep doing it. Making them flat, flipping them over once again, one more time. If they fall apart in your hands, don't worry. Just shape them up again. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be edible. Okay. And I'm going to take some more flour. the remainder of my cottage cheese, sugar, semolina and egg mixture. So you have everything here. And I'm making another little sausage shape. And I'm going to lower it go. Flour. Cut it. Now, take the board and forward. Okay, uh, now that our uh, cottage cheese cookies are ready, we have shaped them. We're going to uh, use the frying pan. So I turn it on high. I'll turn off the water. And when it's warm enough, we're going to fry them. Now, I'm going to use uh, butter, this like melted butter. You know, and, uh, they can also call it uh, ghee in uh, Indian sources. But then you can use regular butter or you can use olive oil. Why it's important to fry them? But uh, sort of fat, because you know our body needs fat anyway to digest everything to get energy. So why why not use just a little bit when you are making something delicious for yourself? So while waiting here uh, for the frying pan to get warm enough, you can use any kind of frying pan. I'm using non sticky uh, tefal. I've had it for a couple of years. I'm really happy with it. So you can use any sort of frying pan that is not sticky surface, any that you like. Okay, now let's wait a little bit. Okay, now that the frying pan is hot, all I know is because there are no drops of water that were there initially, we can fry our cottage cheese cookies. So I'm going to use a little bit of my melted butter, just a bit. I think what I have in here equals a teaspoon. And I'm putting it on the frying pan. Just making sure it's all covered. All covered nicely and evenly. And then I am going to put our the cheese cookies on the front onto the frying pan one by one but before I put them onto the frying pan I am going to lower the fire from maximum to medium so I don't know what you have I have six now I'm putting them on three so 
putting them onto my frying pan one by one. They stick to the board a little bit, that's no problem. Just pick them up, roll them some more, the flour. Okay, and leave them to fry on one side for a minute or two minutes. Okay, now that we've waited for a couple of minutes, we can flip them over. So I'm going to pick them up one by one and flip them over. If they don't flip over that easily, it means they might need more time for the first side to fry. Okay. For my stove top in the center, the heat is usually higher. So I'm going to move these ones right ahead in the center to the sides just to prevent them from burning. And oh my god, it's not so easy. But uh and okay, now that I've flipped them all over, I am going to cut them, set the fire on two, and wait for five to seven minutes. The key how to tell that they're ready is that they should they should swell a little bit, just become a little bit bigger because the semolina makes them swell. So let's give them five minutes and in five minutes we'll have a look at them again. So I bought three minutes fast and I'm looking just because I need to check. So I'm uncovering my cottage cheese cookies and I'm looking at them and I see that they've swollen nicely and I also see that some of them have some white cottage cheese breaking through the, the baked surface. So I'm going to flip them over once again, just to make sure that they all get cooked nicely. So whenever, whenever you see that there is some white tea cottage cheese breaking the surface, flip them over. Or you can just flip them over just in case, all the same. for another two minutes. So, two more minutes have passed. I am going to turn on the fire and I'm going to add cheese frying pan cookies ready and I'm going to unload them onto the plate. Ta-da! You can serve them warm or cold. You can have them with honey, with uh, jam, or you can just have them the way they are. Okay.